Okay, we are going to do sacrum and coccyx. Um, it's typically a three picture series if you're doing both. The, um, you do a sacrum, AP axial, coccyx, AP axial, and then a lateral of both, typically. Um, there's some variation there. The AP axial sacrum is shot at 15 degrees cephalic centered to the mid sagittal plane, two inches below the ASIS. The coccyx is 10 degrees caudal centered two inches below the ASIS um, and the mid sagittal plane. So we'll start with the AP axial. We're basically there. I already kind of set it up. I cheated. So ASIS, two inches below. You got to imagine again, the sacrum comes in like this. So you're like, bam, it's dead in the middle of the pelvis. So there you go. That's what your AP sacrum. You can cone in a little bit. You don't have to. Um, there it is. So coccyx is pretty straightforward. Same, basically the same picture with a different angle. Um, and that's because your sacrum coccyx sits like curved in. For the sacrum, you're coming in like this. For the coccyx, the opposite way. So that's what that does. So approximately 10 degrees. Won't be perfect. ASIS, two inches below. You want to get the tailbone. Now on this one, it probably is nice to collimate a little bit more. You want that contrast, and you know the coccyx just isn't that big. So this helps quite a bit. You can make something about like that. So have a whole grill still. And that is that. So now, um, for the lateral, you take the angle off. Straight lateral. Man, we're going to have you roll all the way on your side again. up for you up here and stack your arms together if you want to uh oh sorry <laughs> okay. All right, right there. Right there. so you just want to get the pelvis nice and square uh, the hips even because you want it all superimposed it goes down um, and for this one you are two inches posterior to the ASIS and then like three inches down from the crest ASIS is higher. Right, so posterior, three inches down, right about there. So you can imagine the start, if this is L4, then L5 is here. That means your sacrum starts here and begins to curve this way. And the coccyx comes down here. So you may even be able to just use that as your estimate and then visualize. Kind of come up, look, okay, L4, L5. You know, the sacrum's like this and it's curving around to the coccyx. You definitely want to include them. Um, if you want them both, then the, the way the book tells you to do it is a little off. So you just kind of look and say, okay, do I have the tailbone? There we go, we're good. So that's approximately it. Um, it's a good starting point. I can't see that.